Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to my brand new camera. I'm very excited about this. Um, hopefully it will fix the focus issues that I've been having for the past year. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I also know that the microphone on this is much sharper. The picture should be much sharper. Um, there are five freaking cameras on this when you put it in, in front facing. When you put it towards a selfie view, which is what I have on, on the moment facing my table, uh, I only have one camera, but it's still a much better camera than I had on my old film, my old phone. So amazing. I did a practice video uh, yesterday and oh my glory, the sound on this was um, incredible. So I want to show you what we're doing. This is Fabulous Friday. I, you're going to get a sneak peek today of my Ranger journal. It is almost complete. And this is what we're going to do today is finish it off. This is the front. Isn't he gorgeous? And I have a place for some charms here, which I have not yet put on. Like I said, now this is the other hunter. And my thought was initially that you could put both of them in there and people just swap them out as they wanted. But I made a mistake. I did not make this. You can put one in there, but when you try to put the second one in, it gets caught up. So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do, how I'm going to fix that. But that's where we are. So I have a bunch of pockets and such. And what I need to do. Oh, this is a um, just a little mini notebook that I had made actually a couple months ago. And I just slipped it over the top. So now it sits there. There's the center. I have this and it's stuffed. I need to work on this one today. That's the first one we're going to work on. Because I need to put um, something down in it. So I have, the, I have the card, but it's just a base at this point. I put this here. I tried to think of this as I made it. A ranger who might carry this in his or her backpack and it probably would have dropped in the mud a couple of times and it's going to be well worn and would he or she would have picked up little pieces so you know maybe at some point they like that little piece of lace and picked up a little piece of lace and there's another piece there's a spot here now for the these are the character sheets. If you're a D&D &D player, I've got them in upside down. D&D &D player, there's your character sheets in the back. And I found that in this stickerology book from D&D. &D. It's from Wizards of the Coast. So I put that in there. Um, I got a little gnome down here. What else do I have? This I found in a um, digital called Abandoned Kingdom, and I filled it with all sorts of little file cards. I'll, when I do the walkthrough for it, you'll see it all. So that's what we're doing, is finishing this off today. I also have these, and this is what I had this open. I was going to work on this. Um, I want to put a little tuck space here. I don't want to put too much because I have the paper clip there, but I want to be able to tuck something in there. Um, but I'm not that one. I want this one because that one, I like this one because it has the red on it, but it doesn't really quite go with that as much. So we'll put this one in. And I wanted to add just a little bit more to it. I have a little washi here. Although this washi I am not pleased with. It was not cheap washi. I got it for Christmas. It had been on my Amazon list. And it is, it keeps ripping. Not happy with it. Not happy at all. I love it. It's pretty. But I just, it's a pain in the neck to work with. So this has a few daisies on it. I thought we would kind of cover up the rest of the queen here. It still shows through a little bit. This is Wembley, but that's all right. There, we'll put that there almost to like a focal point. Let me grab my glue. 
and let's glue this puppy down. Don't want to put anything around the corners. Maybe I do. Hang on just a second. I think I want to put just a little bit because I want to make sure that this does not come apart with all the you know stuff that you're putting in and out of it. So I'm going to do a reinforcement right here and wrap it around. And I'm going to put a reinforcement down at the other end as well. Because this is made from a master board. And what you have, what, if you haven't made a master board yet, you're going to discover this soon. When you make a master board, I've got just a little piece hanging out there. If you, even if you've got some of the best glue, the backing and the piece you put down sometimes separate and you have to re-glue it and, or it, you know, it, it's just, it's a pain in the neck sometimes and when you're using master boards. So what I have done now by using the washi is I've given that tuck space a little bit more uh, stability. It's not going to fall apart, I hope. Come on. There it comes. So we're just going to put a line of glue here, a line of glue here. And poke that down there. Now what we need to do is to finish off my little pile of, well, you stay down there. I gotta hold that a second. Okay, we need to finish off this pile of journal cards so that we can get, put them in there. So let's work on this one first. I've got a little bit of book page here. Now it's an, a nice big piece that I just took out of something else. I don't want that white space on the bottom. I suppose I could have flipped it over. Oh well, you tore it now. Okay, let's put this here. But before we do, I'm going to do this to it. I want it to look like it has been around a while before he tore it out or she tore it out and stuck it in here, it had dropped in the mud. So I'm not gonna go around the edges on it. I just want it to look like it's been in the mud or the dirt. There we go, I want this. My desk is a bit of a mess and this is unusual for me. I usually have only one project out at a time and on the desk. But at the moment, I have two projects out, and it's a little bit complicated. Okay, let me grab a little bit of this tissue paper. I have used this on a couple of them. Can I have a smaller piece? I do. I do have a small piece that I can... I don't need to cut up another one. That'll be perfect. All right. Just set that aside and deal with it later. I think I want to rip this in two, put one at the bottom and one at the top. Because whatever goes in the middle is going to cover it up anyway. So this is just adding some interest. I don't know if I got glue there or not. Because if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I like the tissue paper. I like using it to make a another layer. Just something a little bit different. Okay, this is very gooey. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, am I still in frame? Yes, I am. All right, now we need something to go on it. Did that? Yeah, that's okay. Didn't look like it was stuck down for a minute. Okay, so we have a couple different things. I have a bunch of these different tags. I don't know that I like that one. I kind of, I have this little bunny. 
I really kind of like the little bunny, but it doesn't show up very well on there, does it? How about this one? The mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms show up much better. Too. So I have those mushrooms. I also have these, but these all have a white edge around them. So no, not on those. And then down at the bottom, I can put okay hang on I might have some that are a little bit longer I, I was doing some cutting out of I, I was trying a new stamp there we go there a little bit so if we did this and we do these guys in front of it we can create a little forest. I know, I'm playing. I'm just playing. You know what? I think I just like these guys. But maybe... How did I get glitter on there? I haven't had anything glittery out at all. Cut that little tail off. There we go. We'll put you down here and then we can redo you down there. Okay. You're going down. Going, putting on the trees. So, yeah, I got this stamp from, or this uh, punch from Stampin' Up, and I was trying it out to see what it does um, and it makes these rows of trees which are really kind of cool I tried it on a couple of different you're falling off let's just take you off I know stop playing Okay. There. And now we'll put our mushrooms up above. So I have had a lot of fun with this journal. It was not one I intended to make. I have a time journal out on my desk. I was all set to get started on it. I made the cover for it. Um, I generally don't do covers first, but I just wanted to see how it was going to go together. It's a two signature hardcover. It's it's a big one. And I had it all out and was working on it. And then my husband gave me these colors for Color Monday. If you haven't watched the Color Monday video, you should because I that's where I put the signatures together for this Ranger journal and talk about why it even exists. And uh, then I thought, well, you know, you got everything out for it. You might as well just do this, too. So I kind of set aside the time journal. And I have all of this stuff out. So I have both of them really out on the, t on the desk at the same time. That came out crooked, and I bet I can't get it off. Can I get it off? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Let me see if I can straighten that up a little bit. Oh, no, it's stuck to the tissue paper. Okay, well, it's just going to be crooked. Just going to be a little crooked. Maybe our... Um, oh, come on. No, nope, it's not going to do it, but I'll have to do it by hand. Our ranger is doesn't necessarily put things in on straight. There we go. There. Perfect. All right. Now we need a topper on this one because if we don't put a topper on it, it is going it's I'm not going to be able to pull it in and out. Now I have here some wallpaper pieces. 
I can do a little piece of wallpaper on the top. What might he have collected? I can put one, a little bit of this on the top. I like that. I think we'll do that. Now, I did leave the back of this red. I thought about trying to do uh, a little bit of... Um, Let's cut. There we go. I thought about trying to do some lined paper on the back, and then I decided against it because the it will get pretty bulky. And this way, the whoever owns it, whoever buys this journal, can just draw on it or write on it with a black pen. It'll be just fine. There. Okay, let's put it in the journal. Let's find our spot. Now this is a window journal, and I did not window it very well, did I? Well, hmm. it's okay. We may find another piece that we'll put in there in a bit. Let's go ahead and work on these other pieces. Now that's pretty bright, and I don't want it to be quite that bright. So what I'm going to do is take my ink. This is Vintage Photo, and I'm going to just dull that up a little bit. So it's not quite so in your face white. Do I want to do that? I'll do that with this one too, but I don't know. Actually, yes, because that green is really bright. That green is a very bright green. Okay, I already did that with this one, but I think what I'm going to do is just take that white down a little bit. And count it down some. There. Now it's not quite so... All right. So I have, uh, which I have to think about orientation on these. This one's kind of wide, so I think I'm going to set that one aside. I don't know what I want to do with that one yet. These are good. Let's do these four. This one uh, has a little bit of washi on it already, so I don't think it needs that. These two look like tags to me. So let's go ahead and cut down the sides. Mm, I think this size. This is an old store card that has I have cut in three different ways to make three different size indentations on my tags. Depending upon the size of the tag that I have, makes it very easy. No muss, no fuss, no flipping around. If you have an old store card, this one has a lot of glue on it now from being used. But if you have an or if you have an old credit card, that I didn't quite do that very well. If you have an old credit card um, that you're not using anymore, scrape off some stuff on uh, the identifying information on it and use that. I'm gonna have an old Sears card here. We have no Sears in this area anymore. I miss Sears. I loved Sears. Oh and miss it terribly. Okay, I have this bun. I really want to use the bunny. Uh, I like him a lot. Let's grab a little bit more of this. I've been using neutral. I don't have any green in this. If I put the bunny, I put that back there, that allows the bunny to show through a little bit more. Because I'm figuring, okay, rangers would collect information about the local fauna and flora. Um, and this particular ranger, even though he hunts bunnies and eats them, or she does, they're still... Okay, that didn't work at all. We're just going to throw that one away. I reuse my tape until it doesn't have any sticky left. I put the tape on the back and it makes it easier to pull the sticker off. 
theoretically. So I mean, I, I can peel it down. The problem with these is they have points on them and the points make it difficult to grab a hold of. Okay. Got it. I love where the glue stuck on my finger. Okay, let's try to get this one straight. There we go. Yeah, I like him. I'll grab my hole punch, which is at the moment buried. I opened my window beside me and had to move a bunch of stuff yesterday. So I ended up burying some things now because they're not back in the right spots yet. Now, what I have not been doing with these, I have a crocodile and I can put eyelets in. I have not been putting eyelets in these because I figured this is, he's a, or she is a ranger. He just, he's out and about. He doesn't necessarily have the wherewithal. He probably, you know, he probably has it all that he can make a hole in these things, but he doesn't necessarily have the capability of doing all of the other stuff. It's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Okay, I, I think this one might be done. I like it. I don't think I want to add anything more to it. We'll find a spot for it in the journal. And kind of the same with this one. This one is very... Um, what's the word I want? It's, just, it's very busy. And I'm afraid if I stick anything else on it, it's just going to get lost or just add to the mess. You know, I could put some trees, I suppose. Where are my trees? No, even that, they just it's just too much. So I think this one's busy, and and just as it is, grab my scissors, trim that up a little bit at the top, because I have a little bit of washi sticking out over the top there. And we'll get rid of that. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave that one. We do not always need to do things, especially when you have a master board. Now, this one is a little different because this one is, when I did it, it came out pretty much exactly, I'm looking for my corner rounder, uh, pretty much came out just, there's nothing on it except the, the piece that I did. If you watched one of my other videos, I talked about how I made that and what I did with it. Um, same thing with this sheet of paper. You know, it was basically, there it is. There's a bigger piece. That's the big piece that these other pieces came out of. Um, it was just a piece of computer paper that I played with and played with dyes and distress oxides and inks and whatnot. Okay, you definitely need something. What do you need? I have a dragonfly here. I have a bee. The bee gets lost, so no on the bee. I have, I don't know which way that goes, some pine cones. Um, I'm not liking any of these. Are you? Okay, maybe we want to dig out those. Um, maybe this is a place where we want the white border. I don't know where I got these. I want to say the washi tape shop. Am I upside down? I'm upside down. Okay. Well, it definitely shows up. We could kind of... Oh, do we want something like that right in the middle? These are all, I like that one. I could do this. I like the fact that that looks like a place where you could write information about the mushroom. And I like the fact that that has a name on it. No, nope, definitely that one. Okay, there we go, we'll do these. Okay, that one's a goner. Let's try a new piece of tape. And let's put this one at the bottom. 
So my journals do not always tell stories. I have a theme usually, but they don't always necessarily reflect a character. This one does because whoever creates it will be will have certain parameters. A ranger has certain characteristics, certain abilities. Um, this oh, didn't work really at all. Let's just toss that. Um, because they have those abilities and that, those characteristics, I've gone with that in creating this. I use those kind of as my guideline. That one came off really easily. I like how those are kind of curved, and this is kind of curved. Yeah, that's going to work just fine. Okay, let's real quick. Let's find a place for these things in here, and then we will. I think I need another. I might need. Okay, one, two. This has got two in it already. This doesn't have one. Does this need another one? This one might need. Okay, we're going to hold off on that one. We're going we're to think about that one. I've just put this one in, and this needs tags. Yes, definitely a tag. I like the bunny in the front. Okay, let's put. Let's give the bunny some. Hang on a second. I have to go get my string. No, I no, got some right there. Hang on. Never mind. I don't need to pause. This is my box of string, and I have all these different kinds of string in here, which is perfect for this guy because, or her, because she would just use bits of whatever were around. So some of these are twine, some of these are string. This one is now going to be embroidery floss. Just a bit of embroidery floss. There. I like how that looks. Do I want to put this one in as well? We'll see. Let's see if we can find someplace else for it instead. I can put it down here. It's a little busy. I still think I want to do something there for a picture. Um, this one has that big card in it. Since I sewed the journal, again, I don't sew things online, or on, you don't get to see it because, oh my glory. Ooh, I have, there we go. And let's use another bit of the twine, or embroidery floss. Just a little bit of it. When I do make, when I do sew my journals together, I usually end up with a little bit of extra floss. There, we'll put you in there. We just have this one to put in somewhere. You can almost be a pocket up there. Tuck something in along the side. Okay, we're going to think about that. So I'll find a place to stick it in because pretty much I have filled up my pockets. Okay, I don't have anything here and I think I'm going to leave that. I might do a belly band and put her in there so that you could because this is the cover. I did make this belly band before and I didn't know if I liked it so I, I just kind of left it here. All right we'll leave her. We'll think about that. I'm kind of liking that. What do you think? Where's my Hang on, I've got all my glues here open up, opened. I still think I want to make that a little bit darker, a little bit grungier. Maybe grunge up the those guys too. And let's go ahead and do this. I already did the sides, but when I cut the corners, I didn't do the corners. That's probably what's throwing me off. There.
Yeah, I think I might just do that as a little tuck spot. Let's put that in. We're not going to do a whole lot of glue. This is how journals are created. On the fly, when you think of something. There's nothing fancy about it. Of course, now I have to create another something to tuck in there. But that's okay. I still have this piece, which maybe I will cut in half. I might cut that one in half. But there we go. Let's do that, and then we're doing want to tuck the whole thing in. Sorry, I am totally off camera. I'm sitting here playing with this, trying to decide. I kind of like that. That's okay. I am going to round these edges. I do like, I'm going to leave it the same size. I'm going to round the edges. This will provide a nice little journaling piece. I'm going to empty that because I've been using it quite a bit. Let's go ahead and ink those corners. And trim off some pieces hanging out here. And I don't think I'm going to add anything to this one either because it's got so much stuff on it already. And now it just tucks in. Ah, oh, just like I planned it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop there for today. And um, I'll probably play with this a little bit more. But thank you for joining me on this fabulous Friday where we're just playing around with a new camera. And finishing off the Hunter Journal. Uh, look for a complete walkthrough of this on Wednesday because I will have it completely done by then. All right. If you are enjoying these videos, here comes my normal, I how I end my videos. If you're enjoying these, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button to let YouTube know that you are enjoying these. If you want notifications as to when the next video comes out, click the bell. And in the meantime... Have a wonderful time, and this is Cindy signing off.